Hi, I'm Kyle Brown, undercarriage specialist, and today we're going to talk about undercarriage maintenance. Excavators work in a variety of materials at a variety of angles. Hardness, moisture, and operating stresses can all accelerate undercarriage wear. One of the best ways to extend undercarriage life is proper maintenance. It's important to select the right undercarriage from the start. To do that, you need to ask yourself some key questions. How long will I own the machine? How many hours a week will I use the machine? What are my typical ground and soil conditions? What are my impact conditions? What are my attachments on the machine? And what are the grades and slopes that are typical on my job sites? Caterpillar knows that every job has different needs and underfoot conditions. Therefore, Caterpillar has multiple offerings of undercarriage designed to fit your machine and those conditions. All come as complete systems or as components. Since undercarriage is a big investment, I highly recommend you consult with your cat dealer. They have the tools and the deep expertise to help you select the undercarriage that best matches your needs. Here we have a 374 hydraulic excavator with heavy duty undercarriage. A daily walk around on this machine will help you identify any hazards or issues you're having with any of your undercarriage or other components on your machine. First thing you want to look at is your pins. While you're looking at that, you want to look for your track hardware and make sure there's nothing loose or missing. After that, you'll move to the idler. You'll look for any abnormal wear or any leaks at the retainer plate. Moving on to your carrier rollers, you want to make sure they're free of all debris and rolling good, and there's no leaks on those as well. Back here at the sprockets, we're just looking for missing hardware or any abnormal cracking or breaking. These look really good. Lastly, we'll check out the rollers and any guarding on the bottom side. What we're looking for here is any kind of abnormal wear or any leaks. By checking your guards, you're making sure all your hardware is there and there's no debris in between your guards and your link assemblies. Another thing you want to look at when you're doing your inspection is track tension. We want to make sure that you're not too tight or too loose. What we're looking at here is a good sag between your carrier rollers and this is how it should look. By having them too tight, you will accelerate the wear and lose life out of your links. Depending on your underfoot conditions, if you have hard underfoot conditions, you don't need a super wide pad. If you have soft underfoot conditions, you'll want more flotation and a wider pad. This undercarriage comes with center cut holes, which is stress relievers for any material building up between the link assemblies. Very good to have when you're working in wet or loose material. When operating the machine, the operator should always be pulling the bucket towards the front of the machine or the idlers, never towards the rear. By pulling the material towards the rear, it will accelerate wear on your sprockets and the end of your link assemblies. Another thing operators can keep in mind is turning the machine. You never want to turn aggressively, you want to do it slowly. By turning aggressively, it takes the tension from the shoe and sends it to the link assembly, which will cause premature failure. Don't forget, you can get extra bottom line protection with CVA plans, which offer maintenance, cost per hour guarantees. Contact your dealer with questions, and remember that proper maintenance will help you lower operating costs and get the most life out of your undercarriage. <laughs>